Hey folks, I'm not very good at marking occasions, so <clears throat> I tend to let holidays go by and not make a, a video themed on them. Um, but I thought maybe to mark the new year. This is January the 2nd. And I know I bong, bong, I know I bang on about there always being good music and some of you don't agree with me. So I thought I'd share my list of great albums for... 2021. I think there's good music coming out. Um, you won't find most of these unless you dig for them. But here's some just some of the albums that I enjoyed this year. Uh, King Woman. Uh, really good to band. Um, kind of psychedelic. A little bit of metal, rock. A um, little gothic-y. Uh, Celestial Blues is the album. Really good album last year. Uh, sort of dark folk of the wand and the moon. Uh, Your Love Can't Hold Back This Wreath of Sorrow is the name of the album. Kind of a convoluted al album title, but if you like sort of dark folk, mm -hmm. Of the Wonder and the Moon is, was really good last year. Um, more go gothic metal, Unto Others, with the album Strength. Mm -hmm. Really good album. Um, if you like sort of your typo negative type stuff, you might check them out. Uh, Arca uh, had three or four albums last year um kick three i think they did kick two three and four kick three is particularly interesting a lot of really interesting sort of um uh avant-garde-ish choral vocals um you know kind of soulful in some areas and very avant-garde in others uh, the band arca autumn tears a neoclassical dark wave um, with a lot of sort of operatic stylings. Did the album The Glow of Desperation. One of my very favorite albums was Circuit de Yeux with the album I.O. Um, really interesting female vocals on that, sort of a little dark, but uh, aggressive in parts, um, ethereal in parts as well. Um, Converge in Chelsea Wolfe with Blood Moon One. I'm not a Converge fan, I don't really like metalcore that much, but this isn't that. It's very different. I think the um, addition of Chelsea Wolfe, who's a really great female vocalist, kind of like King Woman, Emma, Emma Ruth Rundle, uh, I think really adds a nice dimension, and it's not the usual sort of Converge uh, album like Jane Doe or something like that. Uh, it's a very different, uh, moody, uh, eclectic kind of album hard very hard in parts as well uh speaking of emma ruth rundle her album engine of hell came out very different from what she did with the the compilation or collaboration rather with the band thou which was um sort of that beauty and the beast mix with growly vocals and and um beautiful female vocals this is more just her own acoustic stuff um very dry raw mix a very direct uh, and and very effective damon alban of course you know him from gorillas and blur put out the album the nearer the fountain more pure the stream flows he's one of my favorite crooners i like his um his voice uh, another um rash of songs from him not quite as good as um was it i robots um but still there's some good songs in the uh the new mix uh, the new James Blake album, Friendships That Break Your Heart, um, favorite of my wife's. More of the experimental vocalizing um, with a little bit of hip hop, trip hop, uh, experimentalism uh, thrown in. I believe he's a friend of um, um, Billie Eilish and her brother. Uh, so he has some of those elements as well. Uh, good album, though. Uh, another one of my favorites of the year is the band Kabbalah with the album The Omen. Um, really good. I think it's uh, female fronted. I'm not sure if it's all women, but, um, you know, sort of um, a little bit alternative, a little bit with some metal elements, uh, a little bit gothic. I really liked it. Aurora for the humans that, who take long walks in the forest. Um, Part folky, part ethereal, uh, definitely an interesting album. Dark Side, the album Spiral, uh, really good. Um, 
Yeah, dark side is sort of a blend also of alternative and um, rock uh, elements with some experimentalism uh, thrown in. I really, the the Deaf Heaven album from last year kind of grew on me. I know they're normally sort of that black gaze um, sound, but this is more shoegazy, a lot more My Bloody Valentine sort of um, elements in the new album, which a lot of their fans didn't like, but I liked it. It grew on me. Um, Demon Head with Viscera, another one of these interesting dark wave slash alternative bands um, with sort of curish um, Fun Boy 3 Terry Hall or Robert Smith type vocals, if I remember rightly. Good album. Divide and um, Dissolve with the album Gaslit. Good old um, doom slash goth um, rock metal type of stuff. Um, Lingua Ignata with the album Agnes Day, really odd um, female vocalist who sings a lot about Catholic themes, very much seems to like the ritual um, of Catholicism, a lot of the imagery in her album. Reminds me of Diamond de Galash, um, sort of operatic but dark, um, you know, almost like metal without the... Um, you know the overdriven guitars it has that sort of um feel to the vocals uh kind of medieval feeling as well uh somebody may not have heard of honey rainy did an album with dobrawa chuck uh chacha whole inner symphonies now hana rainy um if you go onto her her uh, youtube site you'll see her doing a lot of treated piano stuff and i know that's sort of passe it's been done, but I like what she does. Um, kind of Harold Budd meets Philip Glass. Um, yeah, very sparse, beautiful music. Uh, and I enjoyed her album as well. Uh, a Blast from the Past coming back is Stereo Lab, one of my favorite sort of lounge, 90s lounge, uh, avant garde lounge, French pop. Put an album out called Electrically Possessed, uh, which was fun very much in the realm of old stereo lab albums so it's good to have them back Thurnin with the band men here or men here um you know sort of folky dark um again uh, has that sort of medieval hue to it uh wardruna you probably heard of them um <laughs> kvitaven um, I think it's a Norwegian word. I'm not sure what it means. But Wardrun has been around a, a lot. They've done a lot of music that's been used for the Viking series. And it's sort of that dark Nordic folk with little bits of metal elements uh, thrown in. Uh, funeral. Uh, Presientalis in Etor Etorom. I can't really speak um, Latin very well. But Funeral is another band that's sort of um, dark wave with metal uh, elements. You can see that being a theme in some of the stuff I listened to this year. The band Space Slug put out an album called uh, uh, Memory, Memorid, uh, or Memorial. Sorry, I can't read my own writing. They're sludge. They're kind of a sludge doom outfit, but kind of interesting. A lot of experimental er uh, elements. Summer Like Season uh, put out the album Hum. Um, yeah, sort of Euro avant-garde pop a la Bjork um, uh, Radiohead with with female vocals uh, interesting I thought the new Between the Buried and Me album Colors 2 was really fantastic such a a, um, a lot of different uh, styles in the mix basically death metal but with um, a lot of um, prog elements as well just, a, just an amazing album really I listen to a lot heavier music this year for some reason, so the last few are uh, quite heavy. Mono, Mono Lord, good doom metal, Your Time to Shine. Um, Swallow the Sun with Moonflowers, also sort of doomy, uh, death metal-ish, some growls. The band Ginger with Wallflowers. Um, this is an interesting sort of progressive metal group. The, the singer can do the most beautiful ethereal vocals and then move into sort of a Billie Holiday sl slash Sarah Vaughn jazz style and then do death growls 
it's really quite something um kind of proggy as well so ginger with four wallflowers i thought was an interesting album two two albums that um probably aren't a lot of people's lists but i like parts of them mastodon with hushed and grim and gojira with fortitude um i think these two have been you know part of the revival of metal in the mainstream in the last few years um yeah there are really heavy elements to their albums particularly gojira but there are also a lot of sort of pop sensibilities and, and song crafting uh going on and i think these two efforts from last year um were pretty strong i don't know if they're the best albums uh i think gojira certainly have done better albums uh, mars to sirius probably mastodon 2 crack the sky was probably better than this new one but uh, I thought they were decent efforts. And then an, a, a band new to me called Chemis um, did a song called, an uh, album called Deceiver that I thought was really good. Again, sort of dark, doomy metal with um, some growly stuff in it, but mostly clean vocals. And lastly, Thy Catafalque did an album called Vadek. Um, oh yeah, and there was the Panopt Panopticon album, as As the Light Seeps or something like that. Those two are sort of atmospheric black metal, something that's kind of new to me. Um, artfully done, not annoying to where they're just screaming the whole time, but a lot of like very atmospheric guitars, almost shoegazy at times um, with the atmospheres. And then sort of, you know, um, they do the shrieking and growling, but in a way that's not... Um, annoying it sort of adds to the ambience of the sound so you probably call those two atmospheric black metal uh, groups so there's about 35 38 or something like that just to back up what i say about there being good music coming out if you look for it there are a lot more i probably have another 30 or 40 that i could have put on this list that i left off but support new music it's important especially if you're a musician it's really hard right now for gig gig workers and musicians um it's hard to gig it's hard to make money it's hard to sell cds uh, a lot of people are paying to play so um you know try to make a point to listen to stuff outside of your comfort zone uh, give things a chance even if you don't buy them you know put them in your spotify rotation or uh, check out the al album streams on youtube that kind of stuff uh, even if you just listen to, to stuff and talk about it I think it helps the band of course the optimum is to buy a CD or something like that or, um, and the band get the, some of the proceeds anyway but I think it's important just to you know keep seeking out new music and make it a priority um, I've not done this before but I do actually create lists uh, every year so I've made a list for the last three or four years of new albums that I've listened to and I thought just to include it on this channel this time around because 2021 was such a hard year for music, um, you know, anything to encourage, um, you know, people looking into new music and giving it a chance, I think is worth the while. Um, and there's a lot of good stuff put out last year. And a lot of people can't gig, so they hit the studio, the home studios, and there's a lot of good music released. So uh, I just wanted to, you know, spend a, at least one video um, talking about it. All right, folks. I hope this is a great year for everyone. I'm kind of low on stock right now, but uh, I'll have things coming in soon. And we'll get back to talking about it. All right. Take care. See you on the next one.